warm. It's been sunny. The winds are calm, but we remain under an ABC 7 first alert because change is around soon, Doppler. You know, we're talking about, yeah, it's hard to believe after today that we're going to see the winds pick up tomorrow and then bring in some much colder air once we head into Saturday and your Sunday. But if you look at the temperatures area wide, I mean, there's a lot of folks enjoying well above average temperatures. 77, Phoenix, Tucson, we're 73, Albuquerque, not bad, at 58. Then we have some 60s and 70s. Look at that. Lubbock at 74, Midland Odessa at 74. These are some record high temperatures out there. And again, we tied a record with 74 degrees out at the El Paso Airport. So here's how you can prepare. We're going to be looking at those winds picking up. So you might want to secure some of the Christmas decorations. Leaves are going to be blowing off the trees over the next several days. What hasn't blown off the trees as of yet? And we're going to have to deal with some wind chill. Uh, not so much tomorrow, although the winds will make it feel a little colder, even though temperature is going to be on the warm spot side, but much more for your Saturday. Speaking of the winds, I downgraded the winds now. Uh, took off about 10 miles per hour, 35 tomorrow, 35 on Saturday, then 15 Sunday, Monday, 25 on Tuesday. We're going to be right around 25 to 30, maybe low end windy as it looks right now. Once we head into your Wednesday and that front's going to come through early Saturday. You're going to notice it because you're going to get outdoors and boy, we're going to be talking about temps in the 40s to start the morning, upper 30s, but we're not going to see a whole lot of warming up. We're going to be in the upper 40s, low 50s for highs, but those winds will certainly make it feel quite a bit colder. All right, let's talk about tomorrow. Gusts will be out of the west, so 35 out on the east northeast side of town. Could we hit 40? We could. So we'll generally be 35 to 40. I don't think anything stronger than that, at least across El Paso County and Adoniana County. As we narrow it down between 12 and 5, those will be the peak wind gusts at 35. After 5, the winds will start to die down, but they're going to pick up again once we head into your Saturday. Uh, the winds behind the front are going to shift to the northeast and east, 35 on the west side. So if you got any outdoor plans in here for Saturday morning and even Saturday afternoon, the winds will make it feel quite a bit colder, so bundle up. Here's the highs tomorrow, and look at this. Another very warm day across El Paso County, Doniana County for you folks. Temp's going to be in the upper 60s and low 70s for you folks. All right, so 74, then we take that tumble, low 50s on Saturday. Sunday at 52, but look at these overnight lows. 25 by Sunday morning, 27 by Monday morning. We haven't strung together two or more days where we've had some good hard freezes. We're going to see that, though, early on in the week. Then a slight chance for rain. Yeah, we warm up a little bit, upper 50s and some mid-60s. Slight chance for Wednesday, Thursday, Nicole. Winter's just around the